Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're gonna get back into that culinary extravaganza that is Epic Chef. So I've thought a cutscene might happen as I was going to bed, so I'm bringing you in now. Uh, we got worse things to worry about, but I'm sleeping in an old bed. Wonder if the ghost is gonna come to visit me yet. Did I hear something again? Oh, I heard that. Oh dear, I definitely heard something. All right, don't panic, grown man, time to check the house. Thoroughly. It's this here, buddy. That creepy painting. Okay. Nothing, there's no one here. Does this mean this place really is haunted? No, don't be ridiculous. Must have been the wind. Yes, the wind. I'll go back to bed and just think real hard that this explanation makes perfect sense. Maybe tomorrow night, maybe tomorrow night we'll meet our little ghostly butler. Oh, that'd be so sick if it was a ghostly butler. Dear Tempress, if this keeps up, I'm going to die from sleep deprivation. I'm starting to feel a bit worried here. What can I do? Uh. All right, so I know I can talk to Hadreev. Let's check the quest here. Uh, hatch the egg. We, we'll go, let's go talk to the golem. I just noticed the quest for Hadreev is... <laughs> oh, it's silly. It's silly. All right, let's go in here. Gollum, friend. Hey there, could you blast this egg with a beam of energy? You know, Gollum style. Insufficient data. Please supply variables for the conditional. This again. What is it? Grammar day? Searching database. According to the almanacs, it's currently is, it currently is grammar day in Mlork, co-capital of the province of Mirla in Zun. Voted the best boring city in the continent for three years in a row. Thank you. Now, can you blast this egg with your magical energy so it hatches and only reacts to extreme flows of magicka? Or so they say. Affirmative. Hand over the target to infuse. Come on. Ooh, that is bright. <laughs> I was not ready for that. This can instantly summon Birch to his location with shift. Uh, Zest can ride Birch by standing near his front and pressing left mouse button. And you can use Birch as an extra storage by standing near his hindquarters and pressing that. Oh, so we're going to shove eggs up its ass. It uh, requires feeding with cooked dishes. To feed Birch, equip the dish, stand face to face and press that. All right. Ooh, we got a merchant outfit. We're going to have to do that. Son of a birch achievement acquired, which is obviously get a mount, I assume. It's not showing me the status. Oh, hey, birch. This is sick. Look at my chocobo. Chocobo is beautiful. Mental note? So, mental note. The doctors were good people. Maybe I can count on them when I need a helping hand. Talk to Hadreev, and... Oh, we gotta make a dish containing apples. It doesn't need to be good, though. Defeat Matrella and get the Harry Barra sauce. Okay. Make an apple dish here. That's the apple tree, by the way. It's beautiful. I got two apples from it. I'm gonna use one of those now. Oh. So... Apples. And a rat. And I'm that'll leave me with five. Um no, you know what? That'll be that's it. Oh, I can't serve it like that. Okay. Uh and another rat. Surf. Have to use three ingredients. Got it. Rats with tomatoes. Or apples. A wood apple delight in vermin slices and rodent gravy. Beautiful stuff. Okay. So that's the dish for our boy. Put that right here. I can just unequip it real quick. So that would go talk to Hadri. We bring that to the sergeant. Go talk to the doctors. And work on some money. Let me go grab my seaweed. And we'll try and sell that to the guy. And see how much money we get for it as well. It, it, storage. So... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna put a couple crabs away. This will be enough for my cooking challenge, I think. We'll go try it out. Stop on our bounce here. God, look at that. Speedy boy. Speedy, speedy boy. 
I love it. So we'll drop off the dish to the sergeant. Then we'll go speak to the doctors, which are right next to him. And then we'll go see Hadrieve. I love it. We got a game plan here. It's too early. People aren't around yet. Move too fast. Let's go see Hadrieve. All right, I think he's at 9 a.m. though. Excuse me, Birch. Birch. Closed. Yep. Wait a moment here. I'm gonna park you here. How long, how long does time pass for if I sit? I can't sit here. I can sit here. 8 a.m. Is it 9? It is now 9. Cool. Talk to this guy first. Give him our seaweed. Uh, see, we reach my hands. The universe provides. So I've got 860. Glad to help. Okay. Almost got enough. Almost got enough. Maybe if we sell those rats, we can go buy our thing. Hey, boss. Audrey, you found them all. Thanks, Zest. I hope my kids didn't give you too much trouble. Yeah, your kids. What? What do you mean, what? They're full bloody Nerians. Katek, and I'm not mistaken, every last one of them. So, suit yourself. I don't really want to get into the burst your bubble. Ha! Ah, no need to give me the birds and the bees talk, Zest. There's no time for them. We've got work to do. Kids, I hope you're used to those little laps of rest because we're back in business. Wow! No, we didn't get government contract, but we got funding anyway. No, Doramon, no heist already. Told you. And that's simple because we're a local transport company. Feline disappointment. Shut it all of you. That's enough. Watch your language, Doramon. I think the boys need some perspective. Sure, we all want that prosaic to be spectacular. It will be the achievement of a lifetime, but you have forgotten what, how to do this. The real goal is always to improve the lives of the regular folk, reduce the magic of dependency. The ship is not only our dreams, but a symbol of a new way to do things. Wouldn't it be fitting to be able to fund it through those very same means? You may think that there's no glory in this task, but if this isn't worth our time, now there's the prosaic. What a speech. We'll be buying double catnip rations with the extra money. So, are you with me? Want to get rich and show these mages how it's done? Let's get to work. I want the Sputnik in the air in less than one hour. Move it. Thank you, Zest. We'll be covering all the stations in the city starting right now. I've sent one of those kids to restore it near the villa. That one won't be profitable at all, but I think it's only fair you get something in return. Take this as well. Oh, we got some coin. That'll come in handy. Thank you. And now that I think about it, I don't even know what it is that you do. You get some sort of a chef. A lovely trade. Anywhere else, at least. Maybe we can sell up each other out. Talk to me later if you're interested. Well, how about I talk to you now? Love exercising, huh? Pilot jumpsuit, no exercise, that's generating energy. We don't use magic here, you know, so they have to do it this way. Looks exhausting. It is. And hungering. Say, you're a cook, right? Sort of. If you bring us some decent food, we'll pay for it. But we need energetic food, so the more bigger the dish has, the more we'll pay you. I'll think about it. I don't know what this alarm's going on about, well, but I don't want anything to deal with it. Hang in there, baby. Let's get out of here. All right, so that's done. There's my mount. What's up, baby? What are you doing over here by Revolution? All right, hop, hop off that. Oops. Oop. Hello. Yes. I have a present for you. A present, eh? Let me taste it. Chomp chop. Ah, yes, I see. The freshness of these apples reminds me of the winds of the east at dawn. And how nice. Did you hear that? Wind from the east at dawn. Yeah, I heard it. Must be very nice winds. I, I'm not sure you get the expression. Perhaps someone else would get it. I guess so. Oh, you mean, ah, uh, that's what it's about. Winds from the west at dawn. Got it. East! And stop winking, you bloody idiot. Now go. <laughs> I love how stupid Zest is. Hmm. But if it's in our psychological friend, care to take a seat and have an educated chat? Sure. Your thing, that'd be nice. Ah. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. That gave us some good points there. All right, report, report back to Scraba. Let's go see our, our girl Scraba here. We'll go this way. Um, Actually, you know, I got enough money. Let me grab my license here. Excuse you. Oh, actually, let's see. Uh, 1310. Let's give this boy some rats. 1310. 1520. I got 210 on that. Cool. That's some pretty easy money. That's pretty much 210 co coins a day. So, 
two, three. Okay, I've got enough food to make three dishes, so we can do that uh, culinary tournament as well. Uh, yep, give me this license. Splendid. In that case, just fill out this form, then sign here and here, and that should do it. Congratulations, Mr. Zest. You know, a basic cook license that allows you to participate in official tournaments. Make the deal even sweeter for you? Have this. <gasps> a sauce workshop. Sauce station. You'll find uh, that sauces will open you to a world of possibilities. Remember to experiment and have fun. Woo! Baby! Bureaucracy. All right, we're going to come over here. And let's try this out and see if we can get a nice chef outfit. Hello. Yes, I'll join today. Oh, what the hell? I might have a few problems with having teenage maniacs roam in the world of murder spree, but it's a fancy hat. Thank you. You'll have to achieve victory across three different combats to claim that outfit. The judge will be none other than Chef Bolton himself. It's a great opportunity to have a star of international cuisine el evaluate your food, so give it all you got. Don't worry, he knows this is an amateur tournament, so he will be softer than usual. That's good, I suppose. First challenge is to cook a tasty dish containing apples. Remember, you have to bring your own ingredients. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Have an apple. Thankfully. Zest versus Bagarno. Hello. I look so happy and innocent. Mmm, yes. Kalitoy! Glamy wow. Stone! He wanted two he apples. Well, I only have one, Rupa. so. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. Oh, run a bye bye! That was very loud, by the way. Alright, cook. So I'm gonna start. What does this give me? Oh, I don't know about synergy bonuses yet. We'll we'll start with some some of this. Get some aroma into the dish. Alright. Uh then I'm gonna add tomatoes. Give myself a little extra boost here. Stir that up a bit. Thank you. And then I'll add in the apple. Serve it. See how this does here. Let's see. Did I have the aroma to beat him out? Even though it doesn't really do anything. There's got to be some sort of... I don't know if there's like... um. Like, why would you want to go first? Like, they said it doesn't affect your scoring, so there must be other means to the end for going first. Right. So basically, if he put two apples in this, I've lost immediately. Doesn't look like there's any apples in there. Oh, so I could have taken him out, so... So did you notice that there? I put in one apple and then he put in an apple and his judge's taste went down to zero. So if I made a dish with two apples and went first, I would have gotten all the bonus points for the apples. Hey! I still won, but that's good to know. That is a really good feature. Okay, that's the, one of the benefits to Aroma. Well done, you won this combat, only two to go. Damn, I got 500 shekels out of that. Two to go. The judge will favor sophistication this time. Keep it in mind, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Chokogeki. Maybe like a little Yakatake Japan. She's trying to distract me with her chest. So that times two. Kali toy. Kali toy. I'm just gonna. Rupa. Oh, rana pai pai. Oh, rana pai pai. All right, so I think we're just gonna start with the normals here. Potatoes, give that. Those, zero, one. Yeah, we're just gonna go with our normal dish. Tomatoes. I gotta test out how long it takes for, um, like, these flavor nodes to disappear, because obviously the longer you let them sit, the longer they sit for, the more aroma you get, but they can disappear. Damn. This is my signature dish right now because we don't have a lot of things to work with here. What do we got? 39. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Me 
get out of the car. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I love his look. He's just like, hmm. Remember, they're amateurs. <laughs> you want nothing crazy? Ooh. Okay. Woo. I got nervous for a second. I wasn't counting the I wasn't counting the points. Hey! Hey! Now we're so good at this. A thousand, Jesus. All right, hey, if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't played yet, this is what you do to get your cash to go get your culinary license. Almost there in this final dish, the judge will give you points for ingredients that have the C or animal ingredient properties. Good luck. Uh, no, not yet. So I've got some C ingredients here. But I don't have any animal ingredients, so we need to go get a couple rats by the sea. <laughs> Little rat dish here. All right, mental note. Uh, friend indeed could help. And there's people who know knows when I need a friend. Go back to Scrabble. Let's go to Scrabble, and then I'll go around. I got to make a curry bar sauce as well. That's probably necessary to beat that check. Oh, well, let's see what this shop is. What do you got? Excuse you. Hello, sir. Please feel free to browse my wares. Nice shop. I only sort of have it. This is part of the Dwarven franchise. I need to stick to their business model guidelines. You must be that guy in Volleville. I'm afraid you'll have a hard time selling anything at a fair price. What? Why? This is cursed. Most merchants won't risk selling a turnip that might turn into a bear overnight and eat the family dog. Well, good reason, I must say. That's nonsense. No, it's not. I should know, but I'm willing to give you a chance. I'll buy your surplus of for a marginal profit, but just because I'd hate seeing it go to waste... Might be able to resell it for compost or without a disclaimer. <laughs> Doesn't sound very encouraging. If I was you, I'd look for people who are desperate or in a hurry if you want to do business. And speaking of business, want to buy something, mister? Zest. Still middle O'Reilly. Yeah, really. Please don't do that again. Sorry, Zest. It's sort of a family curse. So you want to buy something? Yep. Yep. Let's see what you got. So he's got... Oh, so I can buy seeds from him. So I can get some mushroom seeds. Without a plot, and then harvested for cooking. Apple seeds, more potato seeds. They're pretty expensive, but it's honestly not that bad compared to what I have so far. Okay, I want to get three rice seeds. Oh, you know what? Two is well, probably fine. Give me two rice seeds. Give me two mushroom seeds. Uh, two more apple seeds. And then a potato, a tomato, and a carrot. Okay, that's like all my money. But that was worth it. Oh, what are you? What do you got over here? What's going on, buddy? What's up? Excuse me. Birch? Birch! Ooh, I gotta talk to Tomatello. What am I gonna do? You seem troubled. I need to supply the culinarium with fresh tomatoes, but O'Reilly won't sell them to me because I said his beard looks like a handful of carrots. Well, I mean, yeah. How about pots calling the kettle black? But maybe we'll be able to help with that. How many do you need? Oh, thanks. I'll buy them in packs of 15? Get the hell out of here. Fucking scoundrel. Dare you try and talk like that to me? I wonder how much you'll buy him for, though. Will it tell me? So does that mean it's complete? No. Doesn't even give me a side quest for it, so. Right, I've got plenty of eggs. I don't need to get more of those. Oh, hey, Zess. How's it going? I've given your friend the present. Maybe now, did he say something? He mentioned the winds at the east of dawn. What was it, Dust? No, no. It was definitely dawn. That dawn or dust, Zest. It's a bit of a life or death thing. Dawn. Definitely dawn. You sure? Things get pretty messy for me if you're embarrassing me wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Hey, maybe next time you send someone to get a coded message from a guard, you'll remind them to bring a notebook. Oh, well, I'll have to trust your memory. Here, have this. It's something I kept for one of my deals. Uh, thanks? It is who I who should thank you, Zest. You've helped me with my business getting running again. Got adventurer armor. Is that it? I wonder if these armors do anything besides aesthetic needs. Oh, where did... What? Where'd she go? New quest, remember. Uh, I might want to keep Scrubber's place in mind. She might have something useful for me in the future. Okay. Very well. All right, I'm going to go grab some rats, and then we're going to go back and do a little uh, culinary adventure again. All right, I got myself some rats. We've got crab. Let's do this. The last culinary battle.
Meow Nika, almost there in the final dish. The judge will give bonus points for ingredients that have the sea or animal ingredient properties. Good luck. Are you ready? Yep. Let's do this. Let's finish this. There's some bold trick, eh? It looks pretty seasoned. Stupid face. All right. So it doesn't say an equal amount. So I'm going to get 50 points for C and 50 for animal. So that's where all my oh, points are going to come fry. from. Oh, my not French fry. So I'm going to go for... Um, oh, it's C and M. Oh, geez. I'm just going to make three crabs. I, didn't, I, I wasn't even thinking about how the crabs are an animal as well. I was thinking like C or animal, not a combination of the two. Serve it. Crab on crab on crab. We got crab three ways. Crab fried rice, crab legs, and crab rangoons. Got him in the aroma category, baby. What I make? Maybe it was just one. Only one time each. Yeah, it was only one time each. Each ingredient didn't count. So maybe if I used different ingredients, I would have gotten it. Car. Good to know for next time. If I put another rat in there, I would have gotten at least 50 more points. Potentially, I should say, 50 more points. Don't know for sure. Oh, God, I could lose this. Yeah, I lost. I'm going to have to try that again. I don't know if it'll let me try it again. I lost by five points. Hey! The damn shame. Defeat. Looks so sad in the background. Sad and angry. Too bad. Remember, some combats have specific demands. If you ignore them, you'll have a hard time. You can try again when you feel ready. Oh, I can? Cool. Yep. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this again. So, non-accumulative. I'm assuming it's, I'll get 50 points for using an animal and 50 for using sea creature. And then that's that. So. So we're going to make a dish Dali and toy. I'm just going to add crab to it. Limey stone. So we're going to throw carrot in first. Arupa. Arupa. Oh, run up, bye bye. I actually hope I still have crab. Oh, I do. Okay. Carrots. And then I'll do this. And then I'll add some crab. Get those C points in here. And this will tell me if it's per ingredient. So I used a rat and a crab. So if it's per ingredient, I would get 150 points for that. Otherwise, I'll just get 100 if it's just dish accumulative. All right, yep, it's dish accumulative for when it looks like that. Much better dish. Now, if Boldrick cooks the same dish, I will have one. Looks like he did. Beautiful. A landslide. An overwhelming victory. He looks mad. Look at that pointy ass nose, dude. You careful with that thing. I'm gonna hurt somebody. Don't sit on that nose. Alright, congratulations. I won the tournament. The outfit is mine. Wear it with pride. I will, thank you. That was actually kind of fun. You can equip and unequip the outfit at the wardrobe. I got another 1500 out of that? Jesus. I also got an achievement. Rookie cutter. Um, hold on. I'm trying to see what that says here.
It's not showing up when I look in the thing. Uh, when the amateur tournament, 85% of people have gotten that. Actually, 86. Make me look like some schlub. So what's the, what do you got to say? Oh, is this? I'm afraid I've got nothing else for you today. You should try the professional leagues. I think you'll do fine in there. Yeah, no, not even close. Not yet, at least. All right, do I have any other quests to do here today? Um, I got to get the sauce before I defeat that, because it says right there, get some carry bar of sauce. And uh, then all of these are pretty much done. So yeah, let's head out of here. We're going to go set up the new farm. We're going to... Um, yeah, build. We are going to put in the rest of our crops. Like we got the mushrooms. We've got two more apple trees, and we got a bunch of extra things too. So we're gonna get all that down and ready. Look, I got an apple ready too. I keep pressing shift to summon him, but that's because I'm trying to sprint. So don't mind me. <coughs> Shake the apple tree. Two apples. Thank you. And let me put in apple seeds. There. And there. Okay, there's my apple seeds. Let's do my carrot seeds. I'm going to move away from here a little bit. I think what I want to do is have a nice little farm out here. Like, like that. Yeah, this is where I'm going to want my new farm at, so. Damn it. <laughs> that is not where I wanted that to be. The movement is a little choppy in this game, but it's fine. It's fine. I think that'll fix itself, but hopefully by the next day. Oh, you know what? I wonder if my hammer can get rid of it. Aha, hammer can get rid of it. Cool. All right, so first I'm going to set up carrot patch and potatoes. This will be like my line of rows for my basic stuff and then my tomatoes here. Okay. And then I think I'm going to do a rice field over here. So I'm going to do... And I'm leaving a little bit of space because I want to put fences in too. I want to make this look nice. Three, four. I think I only had three seeds, but... Or I only got two seeds. Two. Patty field. And my mushrooms. I feel like mushrooms should be in a dark spot. Let me do... You know, I'm going to do a mushroom patch right here. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. My mushrooms right next to the house. I think that'll look cool. Oh, that's right. They didn't need to be uh, here. Forgot. I can just put them in the ground. Now I got a hammer, though. We're good. Get rid of this stuff. Now mushrooms. Oh, I can put like a lot of them in. One. Two. All right. Cool. So the mushrooms are down. We've got a lot of different foods in here as well. I should make myself a dish and eat it and get some experience here because we do need to level up as a chef in order to progress further in the game, at least adequately well. So, oh, and also I need to make quality planks. Let's see, what do I need for quality planks here? Apple wood quality. I need to get apple wood wood, so I don't know. Oh. Applewood? That's sad. You're telling me I'm going to have to cut down my apple trees? Does it grow back? Oh, it does. <sighs> okay, so... Grow the tree, gather apples, cut the tree. Okay. How many planks did I need? I'm going to probably wait till tomorrow, too. Yeah. That's probably only going to be enough for one plank. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's one plank, which would mean that would be one quality plank. And like I said, I need two. And we need two. Cool. But we'll wait for the next day and we'll get that ready. Um, What else we got going on here? Nothing really, right? Can I do this to get a little boost, Gollum? Thanks. 12 a.m. 
Let's make a dish. Ooh, my mushrooms are ready. Take those with me. Those mushrooms grew really fast. Does that mean like the rice might be ready? Mushrooms are quick as hell. Oh, these two trees are though. I want the fruit though. Yeah, I'll wait for the next day to get the fruits out of them. Then we'll cut it down. Not in a rush to make the sauce thing. We can do that in the morning. We can do that in the morning. Yeah, guys, if you're loving Epic Chef, like I always say, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking as well. If you're new here, thank you for coming. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you can get back for that sweet, shabby content. All right, so let's see. Add to pan with the following to activate a synergy bonus. That'll give me 10. Empty pan will give me five. But let's do, okay, hold on. So let's do a little bit of carrots here. And here, we don't need to care, care about aroma. It's your own dishes. Aromas for cook, cooking contest. Let me add this. Make something new. And then I'm going to add a bit of mushroom. Bunch of sophistication bonus here. Okay. Hmm. I feel like with the other way, I get more. 15, 15, 23. Be 46. You know what? Um, let me do this. Let's make our regular dish still. Let's throw in some carrots. So that would give me vigor times 1.5, but that'll give me five vigor. So let's do that. This is about leveling up, so I want to make sure I get the most points as possible here between them all. And here, so I can get five more vigor. It would be six, two, two. This will give me two, three, five, and five more. Two, three, five. That'll give me 15 across the board. Um, I would rather get a synergy bonus like this, but that's fine. So, you know, we'll just go with our classic recipe here. Tried and true, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, serve that up. That's what we're going to eat tonight. That's our, that's our meal before we go to bed. Little carrot tartare and seed paste and a starchy cream. Now let's eat that. There's one, two, and 1.5. Yeah, that was definitely the better way to go here. Not a bad dish. Not a bad deal there. So that gave, got us to there. Well, I'm curious. What will happen if it's just time zero? Will it just not give me anything? It's not the best dish in the world, so I'm not too crazy. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not hungry right now. I need to do some activities before I can digest a new dish. Okay. So yeah, it, so it won't even let me eat something unless I have some sort of modifier at least times 0.5, which would mean I'd get half the points for eating the dish. So the more activities I can do, the better. It's a bit too late. All right, let's go to bed and see the new cutscene for the day. I didn't get a cutscene. All right. So yeah, I think that's going to do it there for us, guys. I'm going to put our little little hat on. Love it. And let's see. Kick me sign not included. Actually gets burning oil from a pan, not from the one in sieges. And then we got a cook outfit. A lot of outfits in the game. That's really fun. Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna stick with that. Look at us. Look at us. We look so nice. Mm, girl, you look fine. But all right, yeah. We're gonna call this one here. We're gonna make a quality plank in the next episode. Then we're gonna build us a saucy air. We're gonna make our first sauce. And then we're gonna go kick that chick's ass and we're gonna take her victory token from her. It'll cost us 100 shekels to fight her. So we're gonna make sure we go all in. I'll have some good ingredients. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Doo and I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby. <laughs>